My name is Dr. Tiffany Renee Jackson, and I'm an assistant professor of music at Hampton University. In the summer of 2024, I was privileged to bring four Hampton ladies to study in Villeblevin, France. So Trin, is this your first time in Europe? For real? Wow. You're doing it big. You just finished your freshman year in college and you're in France. Excuse me. What did I tell you? That we're going to make it. We're going to do it. And we did. And we did. Exactly. And we did. I'm like, money is not going to ever be an object to pre prevent us from doing the things we need to do. Exactly. Happenstance is not a reason not to go forward. Mm -hmm. We did that thing. Oh, how are you? I'm you're good. in France, sis. Yes, en français. En français. And you're going to be a senior at Hampton next year. Expectations for this trip? Um, To just learn as much as possible and you know have fun. Yeah, have fun. Yes. Exactly, that part. And I really think for this, for you, this is a great way to sort of enter your senior year. I a trip like this so you can walk up in Hampton and just feel more confident. First time in Paris, first time out the country. Wow, yes. what does it feel like? Oh, so far it's great. Um, <laughs> haven't been out the airport yet, but... <laughs> Ask me again later, right? Yeah. <laughs> have some good first impressions so far. I think it's cute. Think it's fun. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm so happy you're here. Yes, you just graduated did. from college, didn't you? I did. Yeah. There might be Ville Blevin a ses enfants morts pour la France. But we have, we all have fun. Wow. Ville Blevin and its children died for France. Wow. And these are all the names. Je suis née ici. Ici, là, là, dans la maison. À la village? Là. Vous voyez la grande maison, là? Là, vous voyez l'arbre, l'arbre, là. Eh bien, je suis née dans cette maison où il y a l'arbre, là. So nobody will me. Good, 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 good. So now, when you do, everybody, you don't really need that. Everybody. Yes, ladies. <laughs> And the beautiful Nara Hughes, who just graduated from Hampton this past spring. It's celebrating that amazing achievement in Ville Blavin, France, singing one of her favorite songs, maybe this time from Cabaret. Go, Nara! Well, all the odds are did win, Nara. And the rising senior, Anaya Watson, is singing Coucou au fond de bois. This piece in French. And she's killing it.
young and beautiful Trinity Evans singing Home from the Wiz. She's only going to be a sophomore, y'all. The excursions were magnanimous, just fantastic. The Eiffel Tower, the Fontainebleau, all of these amazing places that we just dream about. The River Seine. We read about, we see pictures, but for the ladies to see in person was just a dream for me. And let's not forget about our big concert in the American Church in Paris. It was wonderful. The students rose to the occasion like they were seasoned professionals. And Marguerite had her first public performance in Paris. And one of the highlights of this amazing concert in the American church in Paris was a duet called Flight, sung by Hampton's very own Trinity Evans and a new friend with whom she bonded, Lila Price. Another lovely moment between two amazing singers, Nara Hughes and Kennedy Cox singing the duet, Willow.
as if I couldn't be happier. Elijah Rock, an arrangement I created with my dear friend Michael Yannetti and published by Alfred Music, is resonating now all over the world. And it had its debut in France at the American Church in Paris and as well in the church in Ville Blevin. I am eternally grateful for my dear friend Kenethia Mitchell for asking me to come and to be a part of this new venture of teaching in France. And I am as well grateful for the opportunity to bring eight amazing humans and artists with me to study and to experience the culture. Four of my students from a former institution and four students from Hampton University came together as a group and they bonded with one another and they performed together and they shared living quarters together. I am really grateful that I was able to be the conduit for connecting human beings. I always tell my students it is about the human, it's about the people and the connections we make in this life. No matter what we choose to study, what our trade will be, it is about the people and who you know. And we accomplished something together, and I am eternally grateful. If I could, I